Relationships, especially romantic and sexual relationships of humans, tend to be tricky. When you're looking at animals, you may think, they're so lucky cause they won't have to deal with all this shit, just procreate and that's it. Well, that couldn't be more untrue when it comes to this chicken and his relationships. They're hell of a mess. Whatever, I'm not sure if it's his reckless personality or masculine charm that attracts the men, or chicken pheromones or something. Yes, I said right when I said men, this chicken is turned on only by human males. And perhaps another way around, some human males cannot resist Erno's overwhelming masculinity, fully indulging them in guilty pleasures of interspecies sex. Perhaps anti-gay people are right, this is what happens when homosexuality spreads in society. What? Uh, let's continue. Let's 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 proceed. All countries have their own age of consent. In Finland, the age of 16 for straights and 18 for gays, which means that Erno have had illegal relationships many times. Probably the most significant of those relationships was with Puppe. In 2003, I began studying in Liminga School of Arts, and Erno was there with me. I studied in comic class, meaning that I spent a lot of time in this building, even after when actual lessons were over. For unknown reason, Puppe, who was studying traditional arts instead, constantly intruded into comic class, annoying aspiring artists like me. Erno, however, noted something in him. Perhaps he liked his laugh or something. Who knows? All this happened over eight years ago. Since then I've heard only Erno's version of all this. So it's time to travel to Lahti and hear Puppe's side of the story. What kind of relationship you had with Erno back then? Mm -hmm. Well, I was 17 back then, and all I could think about was chickens. And I had a great love for them. a great gap, gap in my heart for chickens, and they had not filled it. I was a young artist, so I wanted to experiment and uh, learn from others. Erno, since he's a chicken, he could teach me a lot from art. He inspired me. You didn't talk very much with each other, right? No, it was just flesh against flesh. We didn't talk at all. Well, I, I don't even remember that Erno could talk. I was very young and he, he, in a way, showed me what real life and real nature is and what it could be between man and animal. How did this all end? At some point I realized that this is it. Life is perfect for me and could always be. So, in a way, I just wanted to harm myself and Erno in the process. It's weird. Did this relationship with Erno affect your later relationship? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my girlfriend doesn't have wings, so it's kind of hard. Sometimes I just have to close my eyes and think about something else, like uh, the, uh, what, what do you call it, the red 
something under the ropes and rings and rings. Sometimes I take a red marker and paint a red frog thing on my work plan. It makes everything so much better. Does she like it? No. Well, I hope you're happy now and I, I'm really sorry that I left such a big trauma or a scar into your life and you don't have to forgive me but yeah. 